And welcome everybody back to Legendary Backyard Wrestling. This is the King of the Ring Tournament. And by golly, is this tournament going to be something you haven't seen before on this channel. Be ready, be prepared for greatness. What a show we have for you. And to kick off the show, we are going to get a banger for round one as CJ Alpha Jump and Just Ice go head on to see who will move on to round two. And the next match. Refahito is bringing out the first competitor in the tournament. Let's see how she fares against CJ Junt here right now. Last time these two faced off was on the last show of Summer Madness 23 and CJ walked away the winner. Walking through the ring from Las Vegas, Nevada. And just ice. Ooh, and a middle finger there to the Wilster who's watching by side. That man had a hell of a night last night. My goodness. But nonetheless, we are on to our next competitor. Again, as I stated, on the last show, CJ Junt defeated just ice. So can he do the same here tonight and move on to the tournament? Or will Just Ice prevail? And there he is, and he's right. Oh, oh no! He's just running to the ring. Oh my goodness! Oh, and he's just attacking her. Just punches to the throat. My goodness! Exactly. CJ Junt just flung to the crowd now after yeah, rushing to the man. ring and attacking just nice. Ice. Omar. Oh my goodness. And then a kick to the midsection and a DDT from CJ. Oh, he's going for an early cover. Revahito one, two, and a kick out. Revahito had, had to ring that bell real quick. I'm the champion though. Get you, get you. No, CJ, I give you that. He's waiting for Just Ice to get up, and he always oh, hits a good drop kick. What a drop kick from CJ. And now he's got Just Ice there by the neck and the head. He's got her in another guillotine. No, she's not going to let him lock it in. She's fighting her way out of it. She is not letting him lock that in again. That's She lost last time because of that. And now she picks him up. Wow, what a right she connects to the chin. Oh, they both oh my goodness, I'm just pummeling him now. Just going ham. Just Ice looks to rewrite her wrongs here in this match. Oh, now she's getting out. Again, just so everyone's sure, there are almost no rules in this entire tournament. That means right there as you see, weapons are legal and Just Ice looks to have a cable. Oh! oh, oh CJ trying to hit her with his She got him in the back and she got him again. And she's just whipping him. My goodness. That's not going to feel good. Wow. CJ tried to hit her with that stick, but he just wasn't fast enough. And she picks that up now and hits him with the stick. Just jabbed it in his torso. And now on the lower back. Oh, in the knee. Oh, she, oh, wow. Right in the knee. And now CJ's rolling out now. He's holding that knee. What a coward. That probably did not feel too good on the knee there. Just as looking to jump out. CJ, wow. What the hell was that? Stop, drop, and roll. What the hell was that? This guy on fire? That knee is still bugging him there a little bit. Nice. Oh, Just Ice looking to run and jump. Oh, oh but CJ wow. just hit her with a, what is that, a, a piece of now wood Dez there? Now got a stick. It is. You're draining them young, CJ. My God. Oh, we got another contestant oh, in the match, folks. Little Deslin. That is CJ's firstborn. Ah. What is Pluto doing? 
Oh. He just hit him in the hand. But CJ continues to go to work on Just Ice there. That knee's still looking to bother him a little bit. We got Snoopy in the back. Oh, and then he gets her in the back with that. Looks like a mini two by four. Oh, again. CJ's daughter just hits her. CJ threw a cup there at Just Ice though. My goodness, his daughter just keeps attacking her. How cute. Oh, but he's got that wood again. He's limping over there. He got, he hit her right in the back again with that. Just Ice is down, folks. But CJ is, does not look to be 100% right now. That knee is just continuing to bother him. She basically stabbed him in the knee. I already beat her last show. I'm going to be the first king of the ring. I guarantee it. Guarantee it. Wow. A guarantee from CJ right there. We already know that. Ah. CJ with a punch there to the lower stomach, and then he throws just ice back into the match. Still limping from that knee. Ooh, he's ooh. telling off Refahito there. What CJ got? Another piece of wood? Watch out. After I win King of the Ring. I'm taking that title back where it belongs. You ain't My shit, ass. motherfucker. PBS, I done took care of them last year. Uh, where? When? That's a long time. Damn. Long time. Ooh, and he hits her with that right in the back of the leg. Got her in the calf. CJ is not joking around this fight. This is, this is, this is not a match, folks. This is a fight. And what a hell of a way to kick off this tournament. Oh, my goodness. Just continuing to hit Just Ice there with that. And then he essentially mic drops the piece of wood. CJ's back into the ring now. What's he setting up for? Oh, he's got Just Ice in a cross face. Is she going to tap? There's no way. She passed out last time. Will she pass out again? You gave up last time. Now just give up again. She looks like she's getting up, though. And it's not locked in. She got out of it. She got out of it. Just Ice stumbling. She's uh, stumbling to get on her feet. <laughs> the crowd just watching on as Just Ice is now on her feet and CJ's down. What's Just Ice thinking? A double leg drop. And then she goes for a cover. Her fajito. And a kick out at two. The match continues. Well, just Ice is outside of the ring yet again. She's paying, other than that middle finger earlier, she's paying no attention to the Wilster. The Wilster, again, a man who's gone through an attack just yesterday. Someone who has betrayed her. She has nothing to say to him right now. But she's got a, she's got a, a lid from a trash can, and she's walking around the ring. She is now getting into the ring with this lid. CJ goes for a clothesline. She ducks, and she hits him in the back with that lid, and again, and again. Oh, she just got him in the head. She hit him in the head with that. My goodness. Right Is that going to cost CJ the match? Just as goes in for the cover. Oh, no, and a kick God. out at two. CJ remains alive for the moment. The headshot looked like to have taken him out, maybe. And Just Ice is picking up CJ's carcass. And she hits a running bulldog on CJ. That's a nice move. The Oh. Well, again, she punched that knee, that same injured knee that CJ has not been, has, he's been favoring this whole match. Now she's got him in a rear naked choke. Got him in the choke hold, brother. Come on. We have not seen CJ tap out before. Will this be a first time we've seen him tap out, or will he find a way to get out of it? Oh, he's punching oh. that arm. Oh, he's got her head. Oh, and he slams her head onto the mat. He grabbed her by the hair. That's a way to get out of a chokehold. But just ice a, is the first one up to her feet. And then a drop kick. Oh! And that knocks CJ out of the ring. 
He landed right on that shoulder. Because that's a that bad shoulder. That he took him out of action for almost two months last summer. Now, Just Ice has got that piece of wood, and she's just hitting him. Oh, right on the back that time. And again, and again, just keeps pummeling him with that piece of wood. You got to do whatever you can to win a match, man. This is a shot to become the first ever king of the ring. Sit your happy ass down, beta. Ooh. Come on, Justice. Finish it. He ain't no alpha, he's a beta. The crowd smack talking CJ. Go ahead and finish it, Jesus CJ's slowly getting up. Just Tice waiting, waiting for him. He knows what that's like. Oh, and CJ, there he is. He's back up to his feet oh, finally. He's trying to Still favoring that up. knee. I really think he might have just Ice might have done some damage, but CJ. A little punch to the gut, and then a punch to the, look like maybe the shoulder. Whatever it was, it was enough to take Just Ice down. CJ's picking him up. He's now back on her feet. What's he thinking here? Ooh, what a punch from CJ. Oh! And another one from Just Ice. She answers back with CJ with another right. Just Ice with another right to the chest. CJ kicks. With that bad knee, though. Just oh, ice man. with a kick back. Man, Some back and forth here, oh. folks. But CJ hits a shoulder tackle. And Just Ice is down. Well, got him right in the old Alpha Huevos. The old Alpha Huevos. Apparently. What's CJ doing? He's picking her up. And now he's hoisting her to her shoulders. He's got Just Ice on his shoulders. He's got him up. Got her up. With your favorite. First. And he and hits an her with an F5. Or an F U. Wow. He's going to go for a cover, though. That was right. This could do it, but oh, no. no. CJ is oh. getting out of the ring. What's he thinking here? Just Ice is down oh, God, for the she's count. She's to do a run in. She's just walking somewhere. He's looking for some plunder. He's looking for something. Oh, God, he's got, whoa. He's got the table. Oh, my table. goodness. <laughs> CJ the Alpha Junt has a wow. table. What the hell? What the hell is this? Wow. There is no oh, way CJ is geez. thinking about using that table wow. here tonight. It's been a long time since we've seen a table here in LBYW. Wow. CJ's got it all set up. Now he's picking it up here. It is set up, folks. My God. Just Ice is just down in that I'm ring. She's just crawling. Oh, he's dragging her. Doesn't seem like she has much strength, but CJ, he's calling for it. He's grabbing her outside of the ring here. Oh, God. Ooh, and a They're karate fight. chop there to the neck, and then oh, he hoists God. her back up to the this shoulder. Is, ugly, brother. is he thinking this about hitting an F5 it. on her through the fight. table? Ah! Oh, he does. Oh, no, oh, Just Ice oh, gets oh, out of it. Oh, 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 what a, oh, oh, oh my goodness. He's fighting. Oh. oh, and she slams his head on the table. Just Ice got out of it. This is awesome. And then a kick, a kick, oh, a big God. boot Here to CJ, and he's now on Here the table. Oh, man. Whoa. What is Just Whoa. Ice thinking here, folks? Whoa. Just Ice is back Whoa. in the ring, and she's Whoa. calling for it. Whoa. 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 Are we going to see something big here? Oh. oh. My Holy goodness. Shit. Just Ice with a frog Holy splash shit. to the table. Holy she goes for a cover. One, two, three. Wow. Just Ice just... Beat wow. CJ Chunt! She moves on to round two! My goodness, what a match! Rufahito checking on CJ there. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Well, that is gonna take us into the next matchup of round one as we get Azul Noche and White Viper. Who will win? This should be an exciting one, folks. Let's take it to ringside.
next match. And here we go. Azul Noche wants to become king of the ring, so let's see what he's got. And walking through the ring. Oh. Takes off the cape there. Damn not understand a damn word he says, but he is ready for a fight. Oh, there you go. And walking to the way from hell. The white viper. From hell. That's right, Last we've seen of White Viper, he lost to the Psychotic Freak at Parking Lot Brawl 6. So let's see if he can move on. Oh my Whoa. god! Whoa! He has a new mask! And there's the bell! And Azul starts it off with a double drop kick. White Viper tried to follow up with one, but nothing. He misses! He misses! And then Azul hits him with a single leg drop. But White Viper catches his legs. Now he's going for a cover. Refahito, he's not counting. What was that? Refahito, that could have possibly been a three for Azul. But no, the match continues, and now White Viper just pummeling Azul there. But Azul's back up to his feet, and he hits him with that 360 single leg drop. My goodness. Our very own luchador. And then a kick to the ribs there from Azul. Now he's got a piece of wood. That same one we seen earlier from CJ. And he hits White Viper in the back of the head. My goodness, you can hear that from the control truck. Azul looking to give White Viper a concussion. That's an easy way for a win. You cannot blame the man. And now he's just picking up the dead weight of a white viper and he hits it with a choke slam from Azul. I don't think we've ever seen Azul Noche hit a choke slam. But he just hit white viper, but no, white viper grabs that leg now. He's got both the legs, what you thinking here? He's got him in a variant of a Boston Crab. Oh, and he just bent it back. But Azul gets out of it. He punched him in the back of the head. And he's back up. And a kick to the chest takes White Viper down. A speedy match this time. And then a, there you go again. With them Van Damme kicks from Azul. Our Texan in Luchador. Oh, was this? White Viper looked to reverse. White Viper picks up Azul on his shoulders and he hits him with that Samoan drop. And a nice drop. He's chuckling a little bit for cover and a kick out just at two by Azul Noche. They're both up to their feet now. Oh, wow! What a neck breaker there from White Viper. Azul is down. And then a double drop kick to the ribs there from White Viper. Mumbles. A crowd calling him Mumbles again. Ooh, and then an elbow to the back from White Viper. Cartoon Network shit. Now he's picking him up. Is he going to hit a choke slam? It looks like it. And he does. What a choke slam from White Viper. But he's not looking for a pinfall here. But he hits him with an elbow drop there. The Wilster likes what he sees from his newest PBS member. He's going for a cover now. One, two. Oh, no. Okay. That looked like it could have been a three count, but apparently that was just a two, and Azul kicks out. But he's up to his, he, wow, up to his feet first, and he kicks him in the face, and then the knee to the rib. This match is very fast paced, folks. Azul, oh my goodness. What a spine buster there from Azul. Oh my goodness. That's that flip cannonball drop kick there, man. Wow. 
It looked like they might have took a little bit out of Azul himself, too. Oh, he's... He, he could be hurt, folks. Either that or he's just very drained. It is hot out here. But he, they're both back up to their feet. But then a kick there from Azul. Looks like everything's good. White Viper grabbed that leg. Grabbed that ankle kind of and twisted it. And then now with the elbow again to the back. This match is going back and forth like it's a Looney Tunes, bro. It's crazy. What's White Viper thinking here? He's got him by the neck, by the head. He hooks the arms. Oh, a double hook arm DDT. Wow. He's talking shit. There ain't nothing else but to count his ass out, baby. Oh, he's got it. Oh, my goodness. He's got the throat. Oh, but Azul just punched him in the nose there. But he had the throat of Azul. That was interesting. Azul's now up, and I kicked to the ribs again. Oh, Azul Noche once again on, worked on those ribs. That new mask there, old, White Viper, brother. is very Viper detailed. Know, Interesting choice. Oh, oh wow. Damn. Just suck, I am disappointed. Oh, 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 here you go. What? 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 And you wonder why they call him Mumble. Oh. Either way, he's controlling oh. this match. A knee to the rib. Wow. Man, kick to the back. Kick to the ribs there. White Viper grabs that leg again with that sweep. And he's got that ankle again. Looks like he might have a type of uh, figure four there. But Azul's punching his way out of it. And oh, yes. He got his leg free. And he's just kicking him now. Oh, my goodness. Azul Noche. Goodness, just look at that new mask there, White Viper. My Viper's waiting for him. They're both back up to their feet now. Oh, my goodness, what a tackle there by Azul Noche to White Viper. He's down. He, doesn't, he looks exhausted here, folks. Again, it's very hot out here. Rufihito checking on White Viper there. The task for White Viper today, since he couldn't get the win against the Psychotic Freak at Parking Lot Brawl 6, is to become King of the Ring to impress the Wilster, as White Viper is the newest member of Pain, Brutality, and Suffering. Oh, but Azul hit that neck chop, that throat chop. White Viper's down. He could be in danger of losing here. What? Oh, Maybe not. Azul is distracted by Chris Aruda for some what? reason. <laughs> Chris Aruda scares off Azul, though. Now Azul's attention's back on White Viper. He's picking him up by that hoodie. What's Azul thinking here? Oh, but White Viper with a counter, with a clothesline. And he takes him down now. He threw him down. The kids do not like that new mask of White Viper, it seems, folks. <laughs> oh, wow. What a nice chop there to the chest from White Viper. And he falls on him. What's he thinking here? What? The shoulder was knocked down, but it looked like Refahito started the count. That makes no sense. The crowd noticed. The crowd noticed. But here's Azul, working on that offense. Ooh, and a kick to the rib again. Ooh, he stomps him. Right, Viper's down, folks. It doesn't look too good for him. Azul hit that throat chop again. Is he going to go for cover? He does. Oh, my God. Goodness, what was that? What kind of a kick out was that? I don't know about that kick out. That should have been a three. I guess, nonetheless, this match continues here. 
But Azul, not letting White Viper get to his feet by himself. He gets him. Oh, he got him with that double throat now. A double throat chop. And then a single leg drop. There he goes. He's going to go for a cover. No, he's not. Oh, he hit that 720 single leg drop. Now he's going for the cover. One, two. Oh, my goodness. I thought that was it. Wow. Azul can't believe he kicked out of it. My Viper's getting up, though. And now he's up first. He's going to hit that choke slam on Azul. He does. Wow, what a choke slam. That one was a good one. So PBS might have to remember. Move on. And neither the gut there from Azul. Takes White Viper back down. Both of these men seem very exhausted here. Oh, wow. Oh. White Viper's hurt. You can, you can tell again right there. White Viper is actually in immense pain. You can hear him. Azul Noche with two powerful drops and slams. And White Viper's hurt, folks. I think this is dangerous territory here for White Viper as Azul looking for that. Oh my goodness. That dose chop again to the throat. And he goes for a cover. One, two, three. That's going to do it. Wow. What? Has no change. Moves on. Easily. That's unbelievable. You body guy. Wow, what a match. I can't believe White Viper is out already, but all right, folks, we're going to get to our second to last match of round one. Here we got the Psychotic Freak and Gyro. Let's not waste any time and take it to ringside, to Refahito. Psychotic Freak seems very ready, folks. Now, last we seen Psychotic Freak, he came up just close, just shy of winning the world title from Nate Dog on Throwdown 5. What is he doing? He's looking to get more weapons back in the ring. He's got those same wooden blocks that we seen earlier. <laughs> He's looking for more, I think. He's looking for something else. He must be looking for something specific here. I think so. He's got his eyes locked on something, folks. What is the psychotic freak thinking? He's got a folding chair. And he throws it in the ring. Hey! Whoa! He landed that. What a trick shot. And he's finally in the ring, and we're going to get to Gyro. Here he is. And Gyro's now walking down to the ring. He looks ready. Go, Gyro, kick his ass. I see your sister in a Sunday. Oh, wow. He's getting that belly. Oh. And he's in the ring. Rub the belly for good luck, brother. Ready? Right, the bell. And the bell sounds off. Here we go. Ooh. And a handshake. Well, wow, that's nice. Yeah, that's what I want to know. has got the chair. Oh, but Psychotic hits him with that stick right away. Oh, again. Oh, my goodness. Get up, get up. That's not going to feel good at all. Ah. Oh, again? Yes, you can. Just Psychotic slapping him with that stick and then a kick to the back of the head. My goodness. Psychotic Freak. Serious. Oh, get up. About this tournament. Yeah. But Gyro hits him with a drop kick. 
Nice. Takes the psychotic freak down. He grabs that leg and he hits him with a single leg drop. And then he hits him with that stick. Payback, says Gyro. Oh, he broke the stick on him. Yes, sir. Broke it right in half on his back, and he's got him with a DDT. Gyro planting him. He throws the rest of that wood out because he wants nothing to do with it. But there is change in the middle of the ring here, folks. Literal change. What is going on? And Psychotic Freak throws it out. But Gyro not waiting. He hits him with a double leg drop. And he's going for a cover. Two. And a kick out by the Freak. My goodness. Gyro's up. Psychotic Freak's now back up on his feet. And there is a big red and black football. And Psychotic Freak throws it at the Wilster. Jeez. Psychotic Freak done, has done enough to that man as of recently. Oh, and he just throws down Gyro there. Wow. And now what's he thinking here? And a leg drop from Psychotic Freak he goes for the cover. And a kick out there from Gyro. Open up Psychotic Freak, he's got him. Looks like in a submission maybe. I think he is, he's got him in some one arm submission here. And he's got the other arm locked in there, but Gyro just punched him in the face. He broke it. Gyro's back up to his feet. He's picking up Psychotic Freak here. A knee to the gut. Gyro looking for it, it's number one. And wow, that little Gyro DDT there. Oh, nice. Oh, he's got another plaque, another two by four looks like. Oh, he got him on the foot. I don't know how damage that would have done to Psychotic Freak. It looks like nothing, because he's up and he hits him. Wow, he kind of speared him in the kidney there a little bit. Now Psychotic Freak's out hey, of the ring. Money in the ring now. Gyro holding that head there a little bit. His head looks like it hurts. Where's the damn gun? God damn it, Donald Trump. Where's Trump? Where's the, what do you need? He's in jail. Boy, you're <laughs> I'll break you again. The crowd with their banter. And Psychotic Freak enters the ring again. What the hell? What is the psychotic freak thinking here? I don't know what he's looking at. Oh, oh and a kick to the stomach there. Oh, he hit him with the change. That's what he did. He picked up all that change and hit him in the chest with that change. That's not going to feel good at all. And now what's the psychotic freak thinking here? And he hits him with that curb stomp. Wow, he just drove his face into the canvas there. And the end there, but he goes for a cover. And that's going to do it. No. Wow, I thought that was a three, folks. Gyro kicked out. Wilson's just talking shit to the freak there. He is pissed. Where's the damn crutches at? Oh, oh wow. Like a sidewalk slam there from the psychotic freak. He goes for a cover. Two. Ooh. Kick out there from Gyro. The match will keep going on. Ooh. The crowd does not like Refahito's counting there. Psychotic Freak back out again. He's got that blue full chair and he throws it at Gyro. He just yeeted that. My goodness. He ate. And Gyro, he's got it in his hands now. What is he thinking? Oh, my goodness. You're interrupting me, my Cheeto. <laughs> the Psychotic Freak took his mind off of Gyro for a second and Gyro jumped off with that chair and hit him. And then he slammed his head Get there in the side. And he throws him back into the ring. My goodness. Gyro meaning business here tonight, folks. He's not taking no shit tonight. He waits for him to get up. He goes for a clothesline. Psychotic Freak ducks. And now he got him. And he slams his face down to the ground. Pull your damn pants out, Joe. <laughs> we got a full Oh, my goodness. Looked like the psychotic freak did indeed pull his pants, folks. Gyro's holding that chest there. 
Look, he might have hurt a, his left pec. Oh, he went for a he went for a drop kick. He missed, but then he grabbed him anyway after he went for a block and slams him down with a reverse STO and then a cover and a kick out there of the psychotic freak. What a nice little sequence there by Gyro and the freak. Wow. And then an elbow drop there from Gyro to the psychotic freak. He's picking him up now. Hits the arm, a kick to the midsection, and a stunner! Wow! That was a unique setup for a stunner. He's going for a pin. Two! And a... Is that a kick out? He, got, he might have moved his shoulder just a little bit? I don't know. Someone throwing trash at the wheel store over there. Jeez. Oh, wow! What a kick to the back of the head from the freak. From the psychotic joke himself. That was right to the old melon. It was. He goes to recover. It's a two count. Three. No! Wow. Oh, I think psychotic freak can believe that. Nice, you did a good job. Yeah, he thought that was a three count for sure. Uh, more garbage at the freaking landfill. Come on. Uh oh. Looks like he's losing it. Oh, someone threw pigskin in their match. Looks like the freak's losing it here. Oh, no. Oh, we've seen that before. Oh, my goodness. He's going to hit him with that sister Abigail. What a nice tribute to Bray Wyatt. Rest in peace to Bray. And a cover to... Again, a kick out by Gyro. My goodness. He barely got that shoulder up. Never he just pulled that football out. Ooh, psychotic freak just smacked him with his own hat and threw it out the ring now. Gyro is back up. Psychotic freak with a kick to the midsection. Oh, he looks like. Oh, my goodness. Is that a death drop? It's a scorpion death drop. He goes for a cover. And he gets the W. Wow. Wilson's not happy about that. Psychotic Freak moves on. Oh my goodness. Oh, what's he thinking here? Oh no. Stop. Oh, he extends a hand. I'm here. Good job. Oh, now they want to wow, what back what back. good sportsmanship there. Wow. Whoa. 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 Almost tripped there. But geez, the psychotic freak moves on, folks. But my goodness, we have a show tonight. As we heard from Anthony Aries earlier today, Pinball Aiden has been returned and re-signed to LBOW, and he's facing the Interstate Champion Showtime. So let's go ahead and take it and set up that match. Getting ready for showtime here. What? Showtime has forfeited the match? What the hell? Um, okay. Well, that's unfortunate. Um, uh, I guess we're into round two now, folks. Um, I, apparently Showtime has, uh, forfeit. Very interesting. But, okay. Uh, Rafaito here at ringside. We're into round two. And I, I guess we're going to start off round two with another rematch between two foes. Walk into the ring from El Paso, Texas. Azul Norte. Mumbles is what they've been calling him as of late. Him and Just Ice meet again. And speaking of Just Ice, here she comes. She is ready and determined. Just Ice in round one. Conquered CJ Jun, who she's never beaten before. She now faces Azul, who she's never beaten before. Can she do it this time? 
We will see. comes and now she's in the ring and there's the bell and Azul there with that spinning kick to the gut there now and then the knee to the gut another knee to the gut takes just ice down now remember folks these two have faced off three times before and out of those three matches Azul beat her in the shortest match in LBOW history he took the United States title off of her and the other one, and then retained the United States title against her on the third one. Can Just Ice get revenge tonight? As she is now pummeling the back, which takes down Azul Noche. Oh, wow. What a spear there from Just Ice to Azul. Just took him down. And then Azul with a spear takedown there. I don't know, guys. I'm a still a little underwhelming feeling from the last match that should have occurred. I, I do not know why Showtime forfeited the match. I, he was arguably one of the favorites ever since being announced. And we also got delayed a chance of seeing Pinball Aiden's return. So we're going to have to wait for the end of the round two here to see him. But nonetheless, this match delivering quite well here, folks. Azul Noche might still have just Ice's number here as she is down. And a kick to the face there from Azul. Punch to the back of the neck there. Wow. Azul Noche, looking to move on to round three, the finals. Ooh, a kick to the chest. And he hits him with that spin kick. Oh my goodness, she landed on her neck there. She's not gonna do it from Azul. Go for the cover. What's he thinking here? He's picking her up. He should've went for a cover. And he hit her with a choke slam. Let's do it. Again, pulling a choke slam in his arsenal. Now he's going for a cover. One, One two, and just eyes kicks out. Holy cow. That heel kick there from Azul earlier, that roadhouse kick was gnarly. But just Ice working on the offense now. She nails him with a couple of knees. Now she's got him by the neck. What's she thinking? Oh my goodness, that was almost a side effect. She practically hit him with a side effect and could have broke his neck. Azul is somehow still moving. And he's back up to his feet that quick. And he hits her with a clothesline that doesn't take just ice down. She stays up, but now she's down on her feet. I cannot believe it. Azul is still moving after that side effect. Wow. Just ice picking him up here. What's she thinking? And she hits him with a DDT. Working on that neck. My goodness. Crowd seeming to have a fan favorite here. Just ice pummeling Azul there. Just ice, what you thinking here? Azul went for the punch, just ice dodged. And now she hit him with the kick and then a double leg drop to the side. Nice. I'm sorry, a double drop kick. I'm sorry, folks. Silly move. But Azul with a quick kick there to the rib there. He looked like he caught her in that rib. Oh, and a knee to the face. Oh, my goodness. Just ice is now down. Oh, wow. Yep. I just seen a leg drop kick. There you go. A leg drop. 
Oh, as we're throwing shit at the crowd. Yeah, my boy's on <laughs> Azul grabbing the arm of Just Ice there. What's he thinking here? Oh, wow. What a nice takedown there. You suck. With that trip. He tripped her and she's on her back. She has not moved ever since that trip. Holy cow. Is Just Ice okay? Yes, she is. She's moving. She seems out of it. Azul just waiting for her to recuperate, though. Again, this is a tactic that a lot of people have. And it is not necessarily the smartest tactic letting your opponent you recuperate. Crowd did not like Azul Noche. Azul, you're squaring up here. Oh, but Just Ice gets him with a punch to the gut. And then a bulldog from Just Ice. A double arm bulldog takes Azul down. Just Ice picking him up. And then a clothesline takes Azul back down again. And again, she's picking up Azul. What's she thinking here? Oh, what a stunner. What a stunner from Just Ice to Azul Noche. He is twisted up. My goodness. Mr. Mumbles, again, paying too much attention to the crowd. Just Ice gets him with some punches. Punching him in the back now. Just Ice working on that offense more and more. Choke him out. And now she's picking up Azul Noche. And she hits him with another stunner or an RKO, more like it. Plus recover. One, two, three. Wow. She got it! Just Ice. What? Just Ice just finally defeated Azul Noche! This is huge! Just Ice moves on, folks! She is in the finals! My goodness! And now we are about to see the last match of the semifinals as the Psychotic Freak and Pinball Aiden go one on one. Wow! There's the sound of the psychotic freak. He's laughing. <laughs> Can't really understand him. You gotta talk about him. Well, here he comes. The man who was just re-signed. Are we finally going to get to see him? And we are. Oh. He's eating some Doritos on the way to the ring. What a legend. He is back in LBYW. And there's the bell. Pinball 8 in there. We haven't seen him in months. Ever since he lost to Nate Dog, but he fired in such a stipulation. But he's working on them kicks now. Them kicks to the chest. Oh, but, ooh, wow, what a kick there from Psychotic Freak himself. And another kick to the midsection. And then he just tosses him down to the ground. Pinball Aiden there with that shaggy hair. He went for a punch, but he got dodged. And then the Psychotic Freak there with a Sister Abigail right away to start off the match. And then he's going to hit a... Oh, he kicked him in the head and then a curb stomp. Is that going to win? Two. No, a kick out by Pinball Aiden. Wow. I thought that was going to be a quick one, folks. Psychotic Freak there kicked him in the rear end. And then a shoulder tackle takes down Pinball Aiden. And now he's on top of him. He's cranking that neck, that head. Is Aiden going to tap? No, he gets out of that. Too easily. 
but then a slap to the back there again. More punches to the chest from the psychotic freak. Oh! Hit him in the face. He got him in the face again. Oh my goodness. Psychotic freak not giving a shit that he's returning. Oh, kick to the midsection. And he picks him up and slams him down. Almost like a face buster. It was like a sidewalk slam face buster. And now he's picking him back up again and he hits him with a suplex. A suplex, folks. The psychotic freak just hit a suplex on Pinball Aiden. Are you kidding me? Again, another suplex. Indeed, suplex city, indeed. And Gyro, who was eliminated by the Psychotic Freak earlier, watching on. Psychotic Freak hits a clothesline on Pinball Aiden. Believe it or not, despite Pinball Aiden being fired for months, the Cloud of Lightning are still tag team champions. And then a sister Abigail there from the Psychotic Freak. Is he going to go for a cover? Is he going to win this match? He's setting up for... Uh, oh, he's going to hit another Scorpion Death Drop, and he does. Is that gonna do it? One. One. No! Gyro just no. broke it up. The crowd likes it. And Pinball Aiden working on that. Wow, and he's working on the offense. He's punching him, he's clubbing him there. Of course, the respects paid from Gyro and the Psychotic Freak in the last match are still relevant, but Pinball Aiden is Gyro's bro. He is the tag champions. Of course, Gyro's gonna come in and try helping his friend. And now, uh, Pinball Aiden's getting that offense in, folks. Psychotic Freak is now back up to his feet, but Pinball, with a rush, takes him down, and then a kick to the uh, ribs there, it looks like. And then a double leg drop there from Pinball. <laughs> Wow, it's like Pinball just got a sudden urge. And then he hits him with an elbow drop to the back. Let's That's go, just... That looks go. like it, it's painful. I don't care who you are. Oh, and a, oh, almost a coup de gras right there. He's going for a cover. Oh, and a kick out just before the three count. My goodness. Oh, wow. Oh, but a kick in the midsection. Iconic oh, Freak back on the offense. Oh, but he's got him, and he hits him with a sister, Abigail. Is that going to end it for Pinball Aiden? One, two, no. Pinball Aiden kicked out. Oh, my goodness. That's like the fifth sister, Abigail, in this match. Oh, but a curb stomp. Wow, what a tough curb stomp that was. Two, and a three. Wow. And he's picking up pinball. And he shakes his hand. And pinball's dead. Wow. The psychotic freak returns, and he spoils pinball's return party. My goodness. I wrote, can't believe it. But Tad's gonna bring us to our King of the Rings special presentation, folks. As Ragnarok and Chris Aruna go head to head in their third match of the Best of Five series. In the next match. And show you how. My goodness, here he comes. Ever since Chris Aruna came out of retirement here, he's wanted that U.S. title back. And he's going after Ragnarok to do so. But he's got a long way to go. As you see there, the DYW and Hall of Famer and 24-7 champion. <laughs> That crowd hazing him. But here comes our current United States champion himself. The man, the myth, 
the legend, Ragnarok. And welcome to the race from Las Vegas, Nevada, Red Rock. Yeah. Ragnarok leads this series, ladies and gentlemen, two to zero. The first one to reach three wins the series. He just needs to win one more. And that's for the title. Oh, but Chris Rudin not wasting any time. Again, there you go, the U.S. title. Ring the bell. And there's the bell to officially start off the match. Chris Rudin not wasting any time. He just jumps out the ring and attacks him, and I throws him back in the ring. This is a little break in the tournament here, folks. This ain't no regular match. Ooh, Chris Rudin. Yeah. Telling off Refahito as Ahito was trying to count him out. There again, just like the rest of the tournament here, there are no rules on the show at all. Anything goes, hardcore weapons, as you've seen thus far. But Chris Aruda working on that ankle lock there. Will Ragnarok tap? Chris Aruda needs a W badly here, folks. If he loses this match, this series is over. Chris Aruda is down 0 to 2 in this series. Ooh, he's smacking the back of the head. Oh, and then the knee there to the, the shoulder. Oh, he went for that donkey kick, but he missed. And he grabs that piece of that, that two by four and just smacked him with it. Oh, again to the back. <clears throat> My goodness. Oh, he looks at the camera. He smacked him again. Oh. He gets out the ring. Oh, he's got, the he's got the 24-7 belt there. That's Aruda's, at least for now. Oh! Oh, oh you can hear that from Texas. My goodness, what a loud one slap. One more, one more. Oh, Aruda's picking him up there. What's he thinking? And a DDT onto the strap. Right onto the belt there. Aruda going for a cover. A two count and a kick out there by Ragnarok. Fast and furious, this match starts off as. Come on, Raggy! Come on, Raggy! Get up! The crowd looking for Ragnarok to win here. At least some of them. Oh! Oh, Aruda went to go stomp that ankle. I think he might have caught that. Oh, no, I think, I think Ragnarok might have countered it. Ruda's looking to be limp there, and then he slaps him with the belt. My, my, have the turntables. Oh, he hit him with that metal part there. Ooh. Oh, my goodness. Doesn't feel so good, does it? I bet not. And then the double leg drop there from Ragnarok. Right on the lower back of Chris Aruda. Oh, look, you broke old man's back. Indeed. Pin him, Raggy. Again, folks, Ragnarok needs one more win to end this series as he is up 2-0 to zero and is the current U.S. champion. Oh, and a clothesline by Ragnarok takes down Chris Aruda. Get him while his back's out. Uh-oh. Ragnarok, he's grabbing him by the throat here. He's lifting up Chris Aruda. Is he going to hit that patented choke slam on Chris Aruda? Oh, no. No, he puts him on his shoulders instead. And he hits the Samoan drop on Chris Aruda. Wow. Goes for a cover. One, One two. two. Oh, and a kick out. Oh. Wow. Come on, come on. Oh, what a punch there from Aruda. He's punching from down. Got him in the rib a couple of times in the torso. Aruda slowly getting up. <clears throat> oh, and he's grabbing Ragnarok there by the collar of his shirt. Oh, what's he thinking here? <clears throat> Oh, ooh, what a backbreaker. Oh, 
Oh, oh that hurt oh, Ragnarok. Oh, oh, that might have oh, really hurt Ragnarok. Oh my goodness, Aruda with a sick back break oh. to Ragnarok. Oh. He's picking him up again. Is he gonna go for another one? Oh. No, he, he hit a sidewalk slam though. But Aruda's not going for a cover. What is he thinking here? He is outside of the ring. He's determined to do something here. What's Chris Aruda thinking? Oh no. He's using that broken table that Just Ice used earlier to put CJ through. <laughs> How is he gonna use that? Ragnarok's got Milnir though. Oh, but Ragnarok gets out of the ring. Oh, but nothing. Aruda there gets him with a punch. And now Aruda, no! He looked to go and throw, and he throws him in. Oh my goodness. That backfired on Chris Aruda right there. And then he hits him with Milnir. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh my God. Oh. oh. Scaring the damn dog. My goodness. Oh, is that a low blow from Chris Aruda? <laughs> and then he just whips Ragnarok into the table. My goodness. Wow. How is Aruda even walking right now from being hit by Mildred that many times? This is awesome. Throw him back in the ring. There you go. They're both back in the ring now. Nope, Ruta back out of the ring. What's he thinking here? Oh, he's got the U.S. title this time. He throws it in the ring. He's got that trash can lid, too, from earlier from Just Ice. And now Ruta's back in the ring. Oh, and he hits him in the back with that lid. Throws it out. Ruta. Lays that U.S. title flat there. That's what this match is for. The series. Aruda. Oh, and a rock bottom to the belt. Rock bottom on the U.S. title. Damn. My goodness gracious. Great falls of fire. Aruda, what's he thinking here? Oh, oh, no. <laughs> it looks like Ragnarok is down. He can hardly stand. Aruda picking him up again. Is he going to try again, maybe? He does. It looks like he's going to go for it. And he hits a Scorpion Death Drop. He goes for cover. One, two, three. Wow. And Aruda wins. And the new champion, Chris Aruda. Wow. Aruda keeps the series going. He gets a win and is our temporary U.S. champion. What a damn match, folks. What a damn match. But we are now going to continue on with our King of the Ring tournament as the psychotic freak and just ice meet in the finals. Let's take it down to ringside to Red Fajito. This match is the final of the King of the Ring. All I need to say is here comes the pain. Just Ice makes her way out to the ring, folks. Walking to the ring from Las Vegas, Nevada. Just Ice. Just Ice has conquered CJ Junt and Azul Noche. Can she do it all and finish the tournament? 
You're in the last two opponents to become the king of the ring, folks. Who's... What the hell? What the hell is my Viper doing out here? Oh, no! This is for beating the worst. Oh, my God. He just said that this is for beating the Wilster. <laughs> I believe he's talking about just last night when the psychotic freak relentlessly attacked the Wilster in his own damn home. And the Wilster has sent the PBS after him for this. Wow. I mean, if you're just ice, you know, what do you do? You just kind of let it happen, I guess. The Wilster sending a big damn message to the psychotic freak. Wow. You ready? And <laughs> that's what it's for, folks. As you hear the psychotic freak in the background say, ring the bell. That crown is what it's for. Ooh, what a kick to the ribs. This is it, folks. The finals of the King of the Ring tournament. Psychotic Freak brutally attacked, oh my goodness, by White Viper before the beginning of this match. You add that on top of all the matches before. Wow. And he's just, he's actually got the upper hand right now. He's attacking just ice with those weapons. And then a curb stomp. Wow. No way. Is he gonna get a cover like this? One, two, oh, oh, okay. No, plenty to go left in the tank for just ice there. She kicks out. Oh my goodness. Like I said, that is a seriously big message from the Wilson here. Just ice gets up with a kick to the midsection, a couple of slaps on the back there, pummeling down Psychotic Freak, and she picks him up, and a DDT from just ice to the Psychotic Freak. Let's go, Just Ice. Right here. And Just Ice hopping out the ring. Oh, she's got that Woo! trash can lid there and just beating the Psychotic Freak with her. Oh. Oh. Just doing that, Chris Aruda. Oh, Psychotic Freak went to go jump out on top of Just Ice, but she moves out of the way. And she's got that, oh my goodness, she's got that wire and slapping the shit out of Psychotic Freak's back. Oh my god. I mean, it's fully out there. Oh, and now she's got it wrapped around his neck. Oh my god. He's gonna tap. Oh. And as she went to go slap him, he slaps her in the face. Oh, my goodness. And now he's got it. Oh, he hit her with that end piece. Oh, just ice can feel that. You can just tell. And now he's got that blue chair. Oh, we got a little one in the way. Oh, my goodness. I thought he was about to get hit. Oh, my he just hits her with that. Get that little boy out of here. Oh my goodness. That is Jalen Jr. Making an interference. And now the psychotic freak setting up that broken table. As Just Ice is down. And the freak just clobs her on the back there. And he throws her into the ring here. And now the psychotic freak's in the ring. And he's... She's up, she's getting up here, and a punch for Just Ice. Oh, no! Oh, Just Ice just pushed him off of the ring into that table. It's already broken, but I guarantee you it still hurts. Just Ice now getting out of the ring. She's picking up Milnir. Oh! She's worthy! She's worthy! Oh my god, she's hitting him, beating him! Beating the man! You okay? What are you talking on? This ice is indeed worthy. Oh my goodness! 
That slap with that two by four, Jesus. That's yeah, more like a two by two. And then he just gets her, oh my goodness, and then kicked the rib there. Just a nice coffin there. He's got that other slab of wood. What's he thinking? He throws it in the ring. Psychotic freak <coughs> circling in that ring, and now he's into the ring. Just Ice slowly making her way to her feet, and she slowly makes her way back into the ring. And the Psychotic Freak with a club, and now he's got her. What's he thinking here? Oh! A neck breaker. It goes for a cover. One, two, and a kick out from Just Ice. Oh, Psychotic Freak mad. A punch. I caught her in the mouth there on that first punch there. I don't think he's I don't think he knows what to do right now. In just a short time, these two have thrown a decent amount at each other, along with all their other fights being just in the same day. Oh, what's he doing here? Is he gonna pick her up? He picks her up and just throws her on the piece of wood. Like she's a feather. Jesus! The psychotic freak looking to become the first ever king of the ring. And now he's picking her up. This is not look good for Just Ice, but she gets him. She catches him with a punch to the midsection. And then, oh, and she hits a curb stop on him on the wood. He's facing the wood. She goes for a cover. One, two, three. She got it. Oh, my God. Wow! Queen Just Ice! Queen Just Ice! Congratulations! Oh my goodness! I cannot believe it! Our first ever King of the Ring goes to Queen Just Ice, ladies and gentlemen! Good God Almighty, what a tournament! Oh, and we're cutting to Nate Dog here, who looks to be watching this. Oh, God. Uh, sit down, champ. Sit down. Thank you. Have a seat. Have a seat. You don't have to do that. You see, Chad, here's the thing. We have a freak problem, okay, in LBYW. You know, PBS has got a freak problem. You have a just ice problem and a freak problem, see. And PBS is getting sick and tired of it. We're getting tired of it, man. I mean, we're getting tired of these people running rampant, making, trying to think we're weak. We're not weak, dude. You know, we're not weak. People were weak. Just Dice was weak. She bit the hand that fed her. The freak was weak. He didn't realize what he was in. What we need is a champion that can represent PBS as the dominant faction in LBYW wrestling. All right? We're tired of all these people running around like a bunch of children, okay? They need to be slapped down and order needs to be restored. So I'm offering you an opportunity of a lifetime to join the most dominant faction. All you gotta do is have Showtime, he knows. All right, that's all you gotta do. Go ask Viper, he knows. Everybody knows where it is, man. So you don't have to think on it, champ. You don't have to think on it, Nate. Hmm. All you gotta do, you know how to contact the Wilster. In fact, everybody here does. It's cool. No, 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 no. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Nice. See, so what you're saying is you have made the best decision of your life, champ. See, so Just Ice, freak, you stupid little idiots. PBS is going to run the world. Just like we always do, man. Everybody thinks, we, everybody thinks they got it all figured out around here, man. We do. He's the champion. He knows what it's like to be a champion now. And it tastes good. It tastes good, doesn't it, Nate? It does. Exactly. So, fuck you guys. The Wilster and the champ Nate Dog is out.
PBS dominates wrestling. You know it. You know it. You suck. You're looking at your new Queen Just Ice winner of the King of the Ring tournament. I bet you guys didn't think I could win, but I beat everybody's ass. Without PBS, without Will, fuck them all. They didn't believe in me. And now, I got my shot coming up. And we're on the way to Haunted Hellfest. And Nate, I'm coming for your ass. That belt's gonna be mine, so you bitches better look the fuck out. And that is gonna do it, folks, for LBYW King of the Ring. What a show we have put up for you guys here tonight. Thank you all for tuning in, and be sure to stay tuned to our next show, LBYW 41. Until then, signing off, sayonara, see you all later.